Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Middleware Technologies. In our last video, like we have seen how we can build a, a Jenkins pipeline remotely uh, using curl. Okay, uh, but uh, we have done it using an admin user and uh, also like the uh, the build was not passing any parameters. Okay, uh, so in this scenario, uh, in today's video, like we will see how we can pass parameters to a build remotely and uh, try to trigger it using a non uh, admin user okay so this is what like we are going to uh, demo uh, in this video so let's get started okay so i'm currently working on federal 37 workstation with jenkins lts okay so as a first step like we need to ensure docker and docker compose is installed and running so we have seen this already in our last video uh, like we can check our docker version using docker minus v and docker compose version using docker compose minus v okay and once you have docker installed like you can verify if your docker is up and running using uh, system ctl status docker service so right now my docker is up and running so we are good with step one okay now let us go into our step two that is ensuring the jenkins docker service is running okay so in our last video like we have seen the docker compose file which we are going to use to launch our jenkins service so this is a very basic jenkins uh, docker compose file wherein i am using the lts version of the image and i am going to listen on 8082 port okay so let me start up uh, i think i already have it up and running so let me show you the logs for this one so it is up and running so we can just go and log in to the portal okay so let me go into my firefox and login with my admin user okay so we have our admin uh, like we have our jenkins portal up and running okay so we are good with our step two let's now go to step three that is creating a user with api token okay so now what we will do is we will try to create a new user uh, called dev1 okay so let me go to manage jenkins and from here go to manage users and let's create a new user so here i'm going to name my new user as dev1 or let me do it uh, let me check if I have that user already so I have that user already so let me create another user that is dev2 password is dev2 confirm password full name and the email address so let me create this user okay so now we have created this user let me log in with that user right now okay okay so now we have logged in with that user go to manage jenkins manage users dev2 configure so here like we can add the api token for this user okay so let me create my api token so let us name it as dev1 api1 and generate okay so let me copy this one for my reference so i'll just put it over here as this is a new token so 
let me save this one okay now we have our dev2 user created and the api token generated for that okay so let me log out and log in back with my admin user okay so as i said like we are going to uh, do the remote uh, jenkins uh, pipeline build using parameters with a non root user okay so for that like what we need to do is we need to ensure that uh, the user that we have created has only read only access to the jenkins instance okay so for that like what we are going to do is we are going to go to manage jenkins and go to configure global security okay so we have created our api token so this is done so we are going to our next step that is step for configure global security okay so now here like what we are going to do is instead of using authorization uh, as locked in user can do anything we will go with the authorization method of matrix based security okay and here like let's add our admin and dev to user okay so let me add my admin user and let me add my dev to user okay so for admin like let's give it a complete access for dev to user we will give overall read access and for jenkins job we will give read access so these are the only two permissions that we will grant for the dev to user when he logs in okay so let us save this one and now let us log in back with the dev to user okay so now you can see like we are able to see the jobs okay but you won't be able to trigger any build okay with this user like it does not have the access to build the pipeline or even like you can see like there is no new item that you can create with this dev to user so ideally we have created a user who has only read access okay now what we are going to do is we are going to use this dev to user and try to trigger a pipeline okay so before that let us try to create a pipeline okay so let me log out and log back with my admin user so here like what we are going to do is we we are going to create a jenkins pipeline which accepts parameters so let us create that one okay let me name my uh, pipeline as python pipeline okay so let us go in the jenkins portal create a new item uh, name it as python pipeline select pipeline and create it okay so in order to build this remotely so what we have done previously is we need to check this box build triggers trigger build remotely and provide an authorization token okay so for that like you can uh, use this simple uh, python uh, module random module to create that uh, token of 16 uh, characters so i'm going to use this one uh, like what we have used in our last video so i'm going to copy this one okay and in the pipeline script like we are going to copy this pipeline okay the only difference uh in this pipeline from the last uh, video is like here like i'm going to capture the application value okay 
So as this is a parameterized build, like we are going to pass the application name and we are going to capture that application name over here in the script which we are going to trigger okay so for that like we need to pass that parameter so here like we are going to check box this this project is parameterized and add that string parameter so let me name that parameter has application and value as python app okay you can name it anything but uh, let me uh, uh, for this demo like i'm naming it as python app okay so now we have everything ready for our pipe uh, python pipeline so this pipeline can accept a parameter and it can be triggered remotely okay and this is the url that we can use to tr uh, trigger it remotely so let me copy that one also okay so uh, like i already have it in the uh, next step so that's fine so we can save it so we have saved our pipeline so this is a fresh pipeline that we are going to trigger using a non-root user remotely and pass a parameter okay so now let us go into our next step that is the final step to trigger the pipeline remotely using curl okay so as i said the the jenkins url that uh, that we can use to trigger this parameterized build is already uh, provided to you so this is the jenkins url that you can use to trigger the pipeline remotely okay so let me go into my shell and let's do curl copy this and instead of build uh, like we are going to use build with parameters as our build is parameterized okay and and the token value or the token string is going to be the string that we have copied over here for authentication okay for the build authentication okay and uh, the jenkins url like we are going to copy the jenkins url uh, in this case my in my case it is fed sir dot stack dot com let's click on 8082 so now like we have our complete url ready to build our jenkins job remotely with pa uh, parameters okay so we need to pass the parameters also so for that i'm going to use the following option data application is equal to python2 app so let me name it as python2 app we are going to pass a different value other than what we have provided in the default value uh, of the parameter okay so let us see like what uh, happens if we run it like this okay is it going to uh, like trigger the pipeline remotely or is it going to give us some error okay so you can see like it has thrown an error like http error 403 no valid valid crumb was included in the request okay so crumb basically is uh, like a session value uh, which a user gets in order to trigger any request which can uh, uh, like which basically is kind of a post request okay so here like we are uh, passing the data using the uh, this data parameter uh, basically it is a post request that we are generating uh, or sending it to the jenkins to trigger the build okay so for this trigger to be successful like we need to pass this crumb value okay but instead of crumb value so we can pass the username 
with the API token. Okay, so let us try that that method. So let me clear my screen, and here, like we are going to pass the dev to user with the API token that we have generated for that user. Okay, so let me go back and copy that API dev to user API value. Okay, so let me copy this one. And now let us try to trigger this build. Okay, so now we, we can see like we haven't received any error. So let me go into my portal and try to check. So you can see the build has triggered. So let me again try to build it. So you can see like it will try to create a pipeline, uh, trigger a build uh, remotely. Okay, so this is successful. You can, you can go into the console logs and see that it has captured the parameter that we have passed. Okay, so it is Python 2. Okay, so let me try it again and send it uh, with a different application name. So let us now name it as Django app and let us try to trigger it. And you will see like it has triggered the pipeline again remotely with the Django app parameter value captured. Okay, so we have seen like how we can trigger a Jenkins pipeline with parameters, this parameter remotely using a dev to user who actually doesn't have any access to the the build uh, uh, build uh, uh, building the pipeline. Okay. So we have used the concept of uh, the uh, the token uh, the token authorization token for the Jenkins pipeline in order to grant access for a non-admin user to trigger the pipeline remotely. Okay, and one more thing that we have seen is we need to pass the username and the API token for that user. Okay in order to trigger the uh, pipeline remotely okay the reason is like uh, we have seen that crumb error okay so there is so basically like uh, CSRF protection uses a token called crumb that is created by Jenkins and sent to the user as I said okay any form subdivision or similar action resulting in modification so in this case, like we are passing up, uh, we are posting a post request. So it is going to uh, do a post uh, in our request, uh, like triggering a build or changing mod uh, configuration. So we are doing a triggering a build. Uh, so this is uh, this requires a valid crumb uh, token. Okay. So for that token, like how we can generate it for a user uh, is if you authenticate with a username and api token then a crumb is not needed okay so that's why like we have used the username with an api token rather than the username and password okay so username and api token uh, if we are using that this combination so it uh, there is no need of passing a crumb in order to trigger builds okay so you can check for more details in this uh, Jenkins issue, uh, like the reference number that I have given over here uh, in this my reference doc. So uh, you can follow that one. Okay. So now, like we have seen, like how. So this is basically the log that uh, I have shared in the blog. Okay. So you can check out that in my blog also. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Uh, and learn something uh, uh, regarding the uh, build pipelines uh, that we can trigger remotely and you can uh, give it a try uh, in uh, uh, from your side also okay so that's all uh, uh, for this video uh, thank you all uh, thanks for watching this video and you guys have a great day